Howdy! I'm Karina. I'm a witch of cryptography. I'm not very good at English, so I'm sorry for uploading videos in Japanese only. But I want to speak English fluently, so today's video is a challenge in English. If you have any questions or something difficult to hear, feel free to comment on this video. And today's topic is CTF write-up. The problem is shell server in second 2020. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to solve this problem during the contest, but I found it to be a very good introductory problem to the lattice. Please forgive me if I say something wrong. Also, I hope you will correct me in the comments on this video. Are you ready? Okay, let's get to the lecture. To begin with, introduce you to the source code of this program. First, make two program numbers, say RP and Q, then create an R file. Next, create D1 and D2. They are small prime numbers. Finally, create E1 and E2. Note that E1 and D1 are unrelated. Normally, RSS ciphers E is inverse of D on mode 5, but in this program, this condition is not satisfied. But put E2 to satisfy this equation. So E1, D1, E2, D2, mode 5, is 1. The last of source code I can get n and e1 and e2 and cipher text. It's hard to read source code only, so let's organize equations on my slide. These equations have appeared in previous source code, and I colored the variables to make it easier to see which they are known or unknown. Keep reminding these equations, they are important. As you can see from this equation, if we can get d1 and d2, the flow will be got soon. So, we should focus on D1 and D2. These equations are probably important because they are related to D. Since D is small, perhaps cryptologists consider using winner's attack to solve this problem. It looks like the condition is satisfied. Therefore, can we use winner's attack? This answer is no, because these conditions stand in the way. So, normal RSA techniques are unavailable. But a lattice-based winner's attack is effective. Let's study with me about lattice. To learn lattice, create two vectors on this presentation. And put vectors that be made by a linear combination of these vectors. A, B, A plus B, and so on. These vectors make infinite but discrete points. And make 2D lattice. And you can make the same lattice from other vectors. For example, C and D make the same lattice. Things like A and B or C and D are called lattice basis vectors. And they make the same lattice. But which do you like one? Or which do you feel simple? I think most people like the left one. Good lattice basis vectors are short and a light angle. These bad vectors make it difficult to analyze the lattice. So, vector simplified tool is exist in this world. This tool is called LLL. The LLL algorithm transforms bad vectors into good vectors. And these vectors make same lattice. And probably transformed vectors are contain short spectra, because short vector is good vector. Next, I will show you how to solve this problem by using lattice. As a first, decide shortest vector to solve this problem. When we decide like this vector, this vector is probably small because D1 and D2 are small. And make a lattice using both vectors. The lattice have to contain this vector as a shortest vector. When you can create the lattice, applying LAL will make shortest vector. How to make lattice? You can use this. Normally, you can't get D1 and D2 from this because two unknown variables in one equation. But using lattice make this problem solvable. As a first, even mod from the first one. And why is multiplying p minus 1 by q minus 1? And development and organize it. As a result, we can get last one. And note that p is unknown and the number of bits is the lesser e over d from first equation. Estimating bit length is very important for solving by lattice. There are bit lengths of each variable. So, right hand side is almost 676 bits. Let's define v1 and v2 and v3 like this slide. Why? 
the answer is explained on next slide. If this side coefficient like first example, the vector length is 1024 bits. But in second example, the vector length is less than first one. It's difficult to make a small vector because E1 and E2 and N are big. And this short vector has contained D. V1 and V2 and V3 are bad lattice basis vectors. So applying LLL makes the shortest vector. Do you think about how to apply LLL? It's very easy. This source code makes a shortest vector of lattice. There are V1, V2, V3 and core LLL method. Only this. Let's learn this source code. Oops, I couldn't get flag. Why? We can't get the flag? The hint is Minkowski's first theorem. That's as written on this slide. Smallest vector must satisfy this equation. Let's substitute values. If V is following vector, the bit length is 1676 bits, and right hand side is 341 bits. So, this equation is not satisfied. As a result, V didn't contain D. For solving this issue, scaling is effective. Scaling is allowing bit length of vector elements, maybe. Well, that is with using m, which is 512 power of 2. Curiously, this equation is satisfied. 512 is the bit length of third element of the vector, minus the bit length of d. I felt that this was probably due to the difference between the arithmetic mean and geometric mean. With success satisfied, Minkowski's first theorem. So, let's run source code with scaling. This is all the source code needed to solve this problem. Note that the smallest vector is product of m and d, so divide it by m at the end. Let's run! Okay, I could get the flag. Thank you for watching this video. I'm glad you're here. I'm not sure if you make a sense, so I'm happy when you comment here. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Bye bye!